Hello, Tomlin here with a new harmonica to try, the East Top Blues Harmonica 008K. I started playing harmonica in 2006, when you had to spend a really silly amount of time customizing your instrument from any of the big manufacturers. I think I probably spent more time doing this than actually practicing. And fast forward to 2023, and I don't think beginners know how good they have it. These days, harmonicas from all of the big brands, Hona, Zydel, Suzuki, are just so much better, and you don't actually need to do any of that fiddly work. So, how does the East Top harmonica compare to the big brands? Well, before I answer the question, let's get some admin out of the way. This is not a sponsored video. I bought the harmonica with my own money, and I'm going to tell you what I really think. But first, let's have a look at the specs. Okay, so the reeds are made of phosphor bronze, so that's nice and solid. We've got a plastic comb, easy to clean, cover plates, a steel, I think. The tuning is a Richter tuning, compromised, and the construction is a classic sandwich style, just like a Hona Marine Band. What do I think of the harmonica? Do I want to reach for it and play it? Yes! Unbelievably so. I'm absolutely shocked that this is only a $25 harmonica. If I had a harmonica like this when I first started, instead of a Leoska, I would have spent more time practicing. Okay, so something has happened during the filming of this video, which uh, is quite ironic and funny. So uh, you're going to have to watch until a little bit further on to find out what that is. So why is it so good? Is it airtight? Yes, I can play dynamically with a light breath all the way to a heavy breath and it responds really well. I don't feel like I have to fight with the instrument. Does it play in tune all the way up? Yes, I can play the octaves all the way up and they sound great. Is it balanced between chords and single notes? It's really important for me to have a harmonica that has nice sounding chords and relatively in tune single notes. And the East Top does both of these things really, really well. Okay, before I tell you whether the East Top can bend okay, why don't you hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it so you don't miss out on my next harmonica video. All right, the question you want to know the answer to is how are the bends? Well, ideally, I don't want to fight with the harmonica to draw bend on holes one through six and blow bend on holes seven to ten. And on the East Top, all the bends feel nicely balanced so that I can jump from bend to bend and, uh, you know, not have any issues. You're not going to struggle getting your first ever bend on this harmonica. Is it comfortable in my mouth? Yes. I love sandwich style harmonicas as long as there are no sharp edges. And this guy is nice and smooth and comfy. But I can't comment on whether it's moustache safe because it has been a very long time since I had one of those. Hello, welcome to this week's harmonica lesson. This is Tomlin from TomlinHarmonicaLessons.com. Is it comfortable in my hands? Yes, it feels like a Hona Marine Band style harmonica. If you prefer a harmonica with cover plates that go right to the ends, like on a Zydel Session Steel, you're probably not going to like this. But if you like the Marine Band, then you probably will like this. Is it easy to maintain? Yes, you can take it apart and clean it no problem at all. It has an all screw construction and a plastic comb, so everything can be removed and chucked into an ultrasonic cleaner. Now, we're getting to the nice to haves rather than the necessities. And this one is, uh, does it overblow out of the box? Well, the six overblow is nice to play out of the box, and that's the one that I use the most, so I'm happy with that. Is it good value for money? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's only $25. I don't know how long it'll last, but that's an unbelievable instrument for the money. Even if you normally play much more expensive harmonicas, you're not going to be disappointed with a few of these in your gig bag. Maybe for some of your less used keys, or maybe just for all the keys. So yes, to answer the question, should you buy this harmonica? Yes, I think you should. 
Okay, so this is really funny. After I've spent this entire video saying how great it is, not having to open up the harmonica and do any tweaks to it, um, the two whole draw reeds started rattling <laughs> on the harmonica. So I had to open it up and tweak it. Uh, it's fine now. Um, but <laughs> it's uh, it's a little a little funny after the whole point of this video. Um, but I still think it's a great harmonica for the money. Uh, but buyer beware, quality control might not be great on every single one, and you might need to get in there and do a little bit of tweaking. Um, but still, the, the the basic product is uh, is pretty good. Um, <laughs> how funny is that? Now. Are you making one of these five mistakes that most beginners make?